using aged water in your aquarium. The phrase aged water is used to describe water which has been caught from the tap or other source and have been allowed to sit without use for at least 24 hours. This ensures that all chlorine in water has been evaporated or dissipated from water making it fish safe. This can be done by anyone. Anyone can age their own water. Question which is the best choice, the sit and wait method or the use of chemicals which aids the aging process. The sit and wait method seems a bit tedious for many modernized fish rooms and novice fish keepers just entering the hobby. This would require huge containers for water storage and a more time consuming effort in doing regular water changes for the aquariums. Back in the days the standard was to use aged water. At that time, department stores and chain pet shops did not exist. For many hobbyists the newly introduced dechlorinating chemicals works better. Chemicals purchase at LFS, local fish shop, is usually costly. Imagine purchasing chemicals for 30 aquariums having a minimum of 55 gallons of water, doing two water change per week. How much would that cost? Mark you, a quick water change for a small aquarium with only a few fish, once per week would require less monies. In contrast it would be convenient, quick and easy. The hobby would seem great and cheap. On the other hand, aged water cost nothing but the time, it will take much more time to let it stand. To many using dechlorinating chemicals works best. For many veteran fish keepers the use of buckets or tanks of water sitting around that were being aged still works for them. In addition to water dechlorination process being cheaper when the sit and wait process is used, is that with aged water, the water chemistry is allowed to stabilize. Water delivered to a tap is under pressure, and therefore contains dissolved gases, in particular, CO2. A significant amount of dissolved CO2 will temporarily lower the pH of the water. After standing for a period, the pH will rise, sometimes significantly. The change will vary based on the amount of dissolved CO2. Regardless of how small, changes in pH are stressful for fish. If the change is extreme enough, it can be lethal. Allowing water to age so it reaches a more stable pH, has advantages for the health of your fish. Share in the comment section below your opinion on the use of aged water, would you use this method? Thanks for watching, Nuff love.